Panorama TV presents How They Do That, where we explore the world of professional photographers and share their techniques with you. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to this week's episode of How They Do That. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, on this week's show, we have Ella Manor. Ella is a fashion and fine art photographer based in New York City. She's won numerous awards, including the Photography Master's Cup and the Black and White Spider Awards. Her work has been featured in Harper's Bazaar, Digital Photo Pro, Black and White Magazine, Double Exposure, and more. Her work has also been recognized within the fashion and art industries in China, Australia, Paris, and Milan. She was recently dubbed Photo Guru by Lens Baby and is sponsored by Panasonic Lumix. She graduated from the Fashion Institute of Technology and she joins us here today. Well, welcome to the show, Ella. It's great to be here. Well, it's good to have you on the show. So um, could you please explain a little bit about the type of photography that you do to people that maybe aren't familiar with your work? Sure, uh, I do mostly beauty, fashion, and lifestyle photography, um, photo, a lot of photo illustration. Um, I do editorial work, commercial work, and uh, I also show my work in galleries around the world. Well, that's awesome. So uh, you use all kinds of different cameras and lenses and things to get some really organic and interesting looks. So can you talk to us a little bit about the uh, gear that you bring along with you on a photo shoot? Sure. Um, I use uh, Nikon bodies a lot. Uh, I also use uh, Lumix for a lot of the video work I do and a lot of the offset photography, behind the scenes uh, images that I take. Um, I like to use uh, Carl Zeiss lenses um, in addition to Nikon lenses. Uh, a lot of the time I'll use fixed focal lens uh, like 80 millimeter or 90 millimeter uh, and sometimes I like to use uh, uh, 24 to 70, uh, 2.8 lenses. Um, I use, for lighting, I use, uh, sometimes I use Alien Bees uh, and sometimes I use um, Profoto. Um, I use uh, beauty dishes and soft boxes um, and a lot of different, you know, types of reflectors depending on uh, what it is that I'm doing. I like to combine uh, continuous light and strobes a lot of the times uh, and I also use a lot of movement in my work. Well, let's talk a little bit more about your lighting. You have some, uh, a lot of your images, you have really hard light, and I, I just love it. Lots of contrast. So how do you shape your light? What light modifiers are you using uh, when you're shooting stills? Um, it's true, I do love uh, contrasty light. Uh, a lot of the times I try to get half, the, half of the model's face to be uh, in the dark, so a lot of the times I don't even fill that. Um, I would use uh, one light as my key light uh, in a pretty sharp angle to the person, uh, almost 90 degrees. Um, and uh, I would use a beauty dish for, for that kind of contrasty light or sometimes a soft box. But I would put it uh, almost to the side of the person and from above and so uh, it would create uh, a contrast. All right, well, let's talk a little bit more about um, some, a different project that you've worked on. There, there was a video that you created. It's, for, uh, it's called Powerhouse. So introduce us to that, that video series really fast, and then let's talk a little bit more about how you created it. Powerhouse was created in uh, collaboration with Lens Baby and uh, Fashion House a la Disposition, together with uh, Katie Ho, who was the fashion stylist that uh, we worked together on it. Um, it was a really fun project. Uh, we created these two character, characters and the models, um, and we shot it uh, on a rooftop in New York, um, and uh, just got a very interesting uh, fashion video and documentary uh, that showed how we really made the project. Well, one of the things I noticed that you did was you had um, a lot of really heavy uh, like bracelets and necklaces and glasses and just all the, the different uh, jewelry that you had your models were very, very shiny and really, really heavy. Was there a specific reason why you chose that style of uh, fashion accessories? Yeah, it's true. Uh, our motto for this story was more is more. Um, we really wanted to get a lot of uh, very sparkly, heavy set, uh, shiny jewelry. Uh, one of the reasons was also because I was using uh, one of the lens baby lenses which is called a uh, soft focus optic um, and that creates a really great effect when you uh, shine uh, your light onto very sparkly uh, jewels 
uh, that creates the shape of the aperture that I'm using. And so I was using uh, the different types of special apertures that Lens Baby has. Uh, one of my favorite ones is the star aperture. And so it creates a lot of really beautiful effects when you use uh, a lot of sparkly jewelry with that uh, aperture. Yeah, you can really see it in the video too. You get some really interesting effects. So uh, just a job well done. Well, also in Powerhouse, you mixed a lot of uh, ambient light on the rooftop with studio strobes. Is that something you normally do? You mix what you have available with the studio strobe or were you actually overpowering the ambient light with those strobes? Um, I was overpowering for, uh, for the highlights uh, with the strobes. It creates this uh, cooler, uh, look which I like um, but I do also like to combine uh, continuous light and uh, strobes for for example when we did powerhouse um, uh, the daylight was used to fill in uh, and create more more of this like very eerie and ghostly effects where there's like an overexposure a little bit um, so it really worked out for that project um, but I also like to, in the studio, I also like to combine uh, continuous light with uh, strobes. A lot of the times I'll move the camera while I'm shooting uh, and then the flash, the strobe will freeze the action and the continuous light will create the blur effect. So the combination of the two, uh, in addition to the colors that we use, um, are really beautiful together, I find. All right, so let's talk a little bit about your use of color. You have really, really strong colors, very highly saturated colors, lots of uh, contrasty colors as well. So um, can you tell us a little bit about how you choose your color palettes um, and how you plan ahead with uh, wardrobe and makeup and locations, all that kind of stuff to get those really, really rich colors? I love very bold colors, saturated colors. Um, I like to use a lot of different colors and combine them together. Um, Depending on really my mood, uh, I try to follow my instincts when I shoot and depending on how I feel that day or really what color I'm sensing that I want to look at and use is how I choose it for, for that time. And um, one of the most important things about my work is really to experiment, to bring a lot of things together. Um, and just dive in, collaborate with other people whose style is similar or fits mine and really just see what happens. So speaking of experimenting, um, normally when you're working for a, a, a professional client that's paying you and they need images at the end of the day, there's not a lot of room for experimentation at all. They expect you to deliver and have it done. Do you find that to um, be a challenge for you or do you do your experimentation before your actual shoot? H how do you work that in? Experimenting is a really important part of my work. Uh, I find that uh, if I don't experiment and try new things and do some of my work spontaneously, um, I end up getting bored really fast. Um, so I do like to experiment. Of course, you know, I'll come with a general idea of what I want to do and I'll have a concept, but uh, it's very important for me to try different things and uh, really jump in the water and see what happens. Um, I don't like uh, cookie cutter type imagery and I don't like to do something that I've already seen before. Uh, so I really try to stay innovative and very creative and uh, I find that, you know, clients who like my work uh, like that about it. So they give me creative freedom to do what I need to do. There's a lot of layers in your images. Um, and I, I'm just curious, is that all compositing in post? Or are you able to do some of that on set or in the camera? Talk to us about your, your compositing. I do a lot of multiple exposure, that's true. Um, sometimes I do it in camera uh, with my Nikon, with the D90. I can get that in camera, which uh, is wonderful, is one of the features that I really enjoy. Um, but also a lot of the times um, my work that is really um, photo illustration-like uh, is something that I create a lot of the times in post. So I would use uh, a lot of different layers, I would uh, mask out the parts uh, that I want in the composition, uh, change their size, change their color, you know, whatever it is that I want to do and then use a lot of adjustment layers to uh, create an overall effect to all of the uh, layers. 
Um, I would also use uh, plugins uh, like uh, Exposure from Alien Skin to add grain to the images, um, to give them a more organic sense of film. Well, Ella, we already talked about Powerhouse and that video. Are there any new videos on the horizon for you? Well, uh, we just launched uh, Fashion is Passion, uh, which I created for uh, WPPI for Panasonic, which I showed uh, in Vegas. Um, it was just uh, launched online last week. Um, and I'm also working on a new video um, and a few other uh, editorials, two beauty editorials and uh, one fashion story. Well, I can't wait to see some of that stuff. Speaking about that, where can people find more of your work, the, the stuff that you've done? How can people stay in contact with you? You can find my work on ellamanner.com. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter uh, at Visuella Manor, and I'm also very active on Facebook. Um, if you just put my name in there, you'll find me. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Ella. We're out of time, but it's been great to talk to you. Thanks so much, Mark. I enjoyed it. Well, that's Ella Manor. Remember, you can see more of her work at ellamanner.com, or just zip over to the Adorama Learning Center to see some of the uh, gear that we talked about today, the lens babies and all that kind of stuff that she uses in her work. And remember, if you have somebody that you'd like to see on how they do that, you can send your suggestions to me at askmark at adorama.com. I'll see you next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.